Hello everyone. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about few multiple choice questions of different insect mouth parts, especially on biting and chewing type of mouth parts. So without wasting time, let's begin. So the first question is, this is regarded as the upper lip of the mouth part. The options are your labrum, clypeus, frons and labium. So here the right answer will be your what? Labrum. You see, we cannot discuss all of the descriptive things here in this MCQ videos. So if you want to know about all of these things, what is labrum, what is clypeus, what is front, what is labium. So a separate video I have created, it is there in my channel. You can go and watch that one. Okay different parts of a mouth or mouth parts of insect okay the link you can get in the description box you can go through that and you can get the information here quickly we will complete few more questions next this is inseparably attached to the labrum forming the inner or posterior face in the grasshopper and cricket the answer will be your word option b epipharynx okay next you see this is a sensitive area which contains the organ of taste. Again, the answer will be your what? Option B, that is your epipharynx. Next, you see, this is a tongue like structure situated between labrum and labium and docks of salivary glands open or on or near its base. So, here the answer will be your what? Option D, that is your hypopharynx. Just like a tongue like structure, a hypopharynx will be there at in between, it is arising from the labial region okay from the pleural cavity next question is this is regarded as first pair of jaw labrum maxilla mandible labium so the option will be what option c that is your mandible next you see this is regarded as the second pair of jaw so here the right answer will be your what option b that is your maxilla each mandible is moved by powerful dash and dash muscles you see options are abductor adductor depressor compressor extension liberator none of the above so here the right answer will be your what? Abductor and adductor. Okay. Next. Mandibles and maxilla moves whether horizontally, vertically, 360 degree or now not the above. You see mandible and maxilla like this it is there. Huh? Mandible and maxilla. How they will move? They will move in the horizontal plane. So the option will be your what? Option A. Answer will be your what? Option A. Horizontally. Okay. Next. But you see if you see the labrum and labium they act vertically okay just like our lip huh? so the answer will be what option b vertically next in mandible basal region is known as des and useful for what you see in case of mandibles what happens such kind of things will be there okay here different cutting like edge will be there here grinding like edge will, will be there so this region is known as your incisor region this region is known as molar region so the basal region is what your molar region this is for what your molar and grinding it will be useful for grinding okay so the next question is in mandible distal region the lower side yes or no it is known as what your incisor region and incisor means what is the function cutting teeth will be there so option b will be your right your answer incisor and cutting this is not the part of maxilla what are the parts of maxilla first you try to remember first is cardo then stipes yes or no and this side palp will be there yes or no this side hairy like outgrowth will be there known as lacinia and here a lobe like structure will be there gallia okay but glossa this is a part of labium yes or no so option d will be your right answer glossa is not the part of maxilla glossa is the part of labium next maxillary palps are how many segmented how many segmented one two three four five okay five segmented okay so option will be your what option b is the right answer five next you see major palps are also known as also known as what your right answer is your option b palpi fur next 
Mala is the combination of what? Galia lacinia, glossa paraglossa, mandibular maxilla, or labrum and labium. So you remember that mala means M for mala, M for maxilla. In maxilla, galia and lacinia is there. So option A is your right answer. Next. Labium is primarily divided into what? You see, labium is in such a way that you try to remember. Like this, it will be there. Yes or no? Hmm? I am not good at drawing. Again, that I am using only mouse. Okay. So, what is labium? You see what will happen? Labium is primarily divided into what your postmentum, prementum. Okay. This postmentum is again divided into submentum, mentum. So, option which one? Labium is primarily divided into what? Postmentum and prementum. Where is the answer? This one. Option A. Huh? Option A is the right answer, postmentum and prementum. Next you see, postmentum is again divided into, now only I told, that is your submentum and mentum. Okay, then prementum will come. Next, labial palps are how many segmented? How many segmented? Option A is your right answer, that is three segmented. Labial palps are also known as what your? Option B, palpi, no. No. What is the answer? Option C, that is your palpi, jar. Labial palps are also known as what your palpi, jar. Understood? Palpi, jar. Okay. Ligula is a combination of what? Ligula. Okay. You here you need to remember ligula. L for ligula, L for labium. In labium, which uh, lobe like structure are there? Glossa and paraglossa. So, your ligula equal to glossa and paraglossa. Mala equal to galia and lacinia. Yes or no? And ligula equal to your glossa and paraglossa. Okay? These are the things you need to remember. Here, one more thing is there. I should have told from the beginning that what are the examples of biting and chewing type of mouth parts. For that, you remember like order orthoptera, okay, then dictyoptera. Coleoptera, then uh, different type of predatory uh, insects, yes or no, all are what your biting and chewing type of mouth parts. Not only in the adult, you see if you take the larva stage, caterpillar, that means larval stages of your uh, uh, lepidoptera order or uh, larval stages of your neuroptera order, they are the predatory in nature. Huh? These neuropterans are in the larval stages, they are predatory in nature. Caterpillars, they are phytophagus. Caterpillar will feed on the leaf substances. Huh? So, these are the example of biting and chewing type of mouth parts. These are the basic things. That's why I am not telling. Again, order Odonata, that is your dragonfly, damselfly. They are also aerial predators. Yes or no? Huh? So, these are the example of your what? Biting and chewing type of mouth parts. So, I hope these things were informative for you. It will be helpful for you in different exams. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Achha sunu, subscribe karte wakna ghanti baja dena. Taake jab mein online aao, to tumhare phone ki bhi ghanti bache.